Hey everybody, welcome back to Learning to Light. My name is Kevin Geary. Today I want to show you what just arrived on my doorstep, a brand new lighting modifier, a 33 inch foldable beauty dish slash Okta. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so this is the 33 inch foldable beauty dish slash Okta that I just got from cheetahstand.com. I wanna open it for you and take a look. Now, the benefit of having a, a foldable beauty dish, and you'll see it in a minute why it's called a foldable beauty dish, is that it's portable. I mean, look at this thing. Look how easy it would be to carry this thing around. That's the problem with real beauty dishes. They're actual dishes. They don't fold, they're heavy. They're, they, they take up a lot of space. They're just not fun to work with. So if you can get a foldable beauty dish and achieve the same look, plus you get the benefit of it being a slash Okta, then that's amazing. So let's open it up and see what we got. So there's a little case that comes in. Boom. Now, looks like any old kind of foldable Okta box, but if we start to open it up, I want you to see, this is really kind of ingenious here. So inside, you're gonna see there's no, like a, a normal umbrella type Octobox would have a, a big rod sticking out of the middle. This has this little clasp system that goes around the outside. So as you push this down, it's going to begin to assemble the Octa for you. Now the reason, let me pull out the, diffusion material. The reason this is a beauty dish is because you'll see in the middle, there is the reflector dish. And the great thing about this as well, first of all, this is really well made. Really, this is one of the, the, it just feels, out of all of the modifiers that I have, feels very sturdy, feels like it's gonna be great for a long time to come. So the way a beauty dish works is the light fires into the back, it hits this dish, this dish reflects it back where it spreads and then it comes out and hits the subject. And typically, a beauty dish doesn't have anything on the front. I mean, you can add a diffusion material, but that spreads the light even more, makes the light appear bigger, makes it softer. A lot of people use the beauty dish because it has a punchier, more hard, contrasty look, right? So by throwing a diffusion material over the, the front, it's basically like converting it to a small softbox or a small octobox in, in this case, and in the case of most beauty dishes, because they're round. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna finish opening this for you, which it's, it's super easy. I mean, you just do the same thing to every little clamp. I know you guys may not even be able to see me right now. The last one, <coughs> you're gonna, excuse me, you're gonna notice there's, they're all done, right? The last one, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass, I'll tell you. Let me, let me see if I can snap it. Ah, there we go. So that one's a little, but it has to be a pain in the ass, frankly, because it makes it really tight. Like this is, this is super strong. It feels, it feels really sturdy. So we have the, again, deflector dish. So this would be up. That's a beauty dish, folks. I mean, it's not perfectly round, but it's the exact same effect happening as a white beauty dish. You have the, the reflector plate spreading the light out into the dish, right? and coming down onto your subject. And this is really lightweight too. Amazing, I can already tell, it's gonna be amazing for location work. It's also not deep, right? So you get plenty of spread because of the way it reflects off that center dish, but you don't have the depth. So if you're working in a tight space, man, I can't think of anything better. Now, I could be talking out my ass completely because I haven't shot anything with this. It could look like total ass. I don't know, but the concept, it's looking great to me. All right, now let me show you how do we make it a slash Okta. Here's how it's done. You take the little diffusion, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this while I'm holding it. I'll give it a shot though. Not opposed to trying. Not opposed to looking like a moron on camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can already tell this is it's getting a little awkward. I put this on earlier. Here, let me just let me just put it down. All right. 
So we're gonna throw this on, you spin it around. Each corner lines up with the diffusion material. And as we get to the end, it's just gonna have a little bit of a stretch. Yep, yep. Okay. Look folks, we went from a beauty dish to an octa, right? That's awesome. And again, it's still really lightweight. Imagine if you had this on a, you know, a little stand or a pole even, and an assistant just holding it. I mean, you, you could be running and gunning. He could be positioned this wherever you guys want. Shoot, he could hold it in his hand and just do it. Man, I can even put a flash in there and I can use it while I'm just holding it. That's how light this thing is. It looks really versatile. I cannot wait to play with it. I just wanted to show it to you guys and I will have a tutorial using it very, very soon. So what I need you to do is hit the subscribe button, subscribe to us on YouTube, then you're not done. Hit the little thumbs up button, then you're still not done. Leave a comment, let me know if you've used one of these or what you think of it, or maybe you've never seen it, I don't know. Just leave a comment. It, it helps me get more traffic and stuff. And then, you're still not done, go to learningtolight.com, get on our email list, and then you'll be up to date on everything we do. And you'll be part of the community, and uh, you know we'll be able to continue having these great conversations. So that's it for me today. This is the, again, cheetahstand.com 33 inch foldable beauty dish slash octa. See you soon.